Hey everyone, Dave here, back in the garage, and uh, time to pull some eBay orders. We've got a crazy one. We've got a massive sale, maybe probably the biggest individual sale of my life. It is, actually, I think, I'm thinking, I'm not 100% sure, eh, I don't know, I don't know. Probably my biggest ever eBay flip. Now, I mean, maybe I've sold something I personally owned for more, like maybe I got a computer and sold it for more at some point, something like that, a camera. You know, that sort of stuff is expensive, but it's expensive when I buy it. This is like the most dollars I've ever made on a single, 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 singlet? Single item, uh, I think, on eBay ever. So people always ask you, what was your best find ever? It's this item that sold today. This item that sold today is my best eBay find ever. So you don't need to ask me. You know, if you wanted to interview me, you wouldn't need to ask that question. Oh, I just like totally binged on uh, lunch here. Hmm. That's not good. I'm feeling a little sick, I'll be honest with you. I should pull the off eBay orders first because I keep forgetting to pull some of those and I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't pull them and ship them. So I think I should prioritize that and then we'll get to eBay in a minute. But yeah, huge sale, huge sale on eBay, guys. Very excited about it. Um, let's see, let's pull up Poshmark. Actually, we sold a couple of things here on Posh. One, two, three, four, four, four Posh sales. I'm not even doing closet sharing because Flip now costs money. So now I haven't been doing the, the closet share. Have you guys noticed that? Flip now charges you, F-L-Y-P. It used to be like this big free service. You could do Poshmark sharing and stuff for free. Now it seems like they charge you. Although I'm not 100% sure that they charge you for the, uh, the sharing. I know they're charging you for cross posting now and it used to be free. Can I reach this? I don't feel like I can reach this. Uh, I can't fit, my head's too big. Anyways, that's what's sold. It's this Buzz Lightyear thing. It's like part of a costume. It's pretty, uh, pretty crazy, pretty crazy piece. I actually really just got it because I thought it'd be funny for my mom to wear it and then go buy it. They, I'm sure you saw the video. Well, you might not have, but it happened like probably four months ago on my channel. I got my mom to wear that and go pay for it. And it was pretty comical. They laughed, we laughed, we all laughed. Uh, and I think it was like three bucks or five bucks. Five, I see the tag on it right now actually. So five bucks. Sold it over on Posh for 26 plus ship. It should be under five pounds. We should be able to send it pretty easy. I've got a big box over here from Amazon that I can use. I did do a whatnot sale on Friday. It was moderately unsuccessful. That does happen sometimes. It's kind of part of the game. Uh, every now and then sales go poorly. Selling a lot of stuff for two bucks. And that's when people start to get mad at me. Uh, the other resellers at least, because I'm not maximizing my profitability. But at the end of the day, like part of whatnot and part of auctions is risk. And every now and then people got to get a bunch of good deals. It'll help them come back when they get their items and they see what they can make profit. But for me, it was definitely uh, significantly lower sales than normal. Some items didn't even sell, which does happen. Uh, I sold this, oh my gosh, why is it trying to fly out of my hand? Pro set soccer card set, it's hot in here. Sold that over on Poshmark, brand new sealed, sold it for 15 plus shipping. Paid five, this is why I don't buy sports cards, guys, because even, I think I'm getting a deal, $5 for a set of 48 packs, it still wasn't that good of a deal. So, just like, unless you're a pro sports carder, I recommend not getting into the hobby of uh, reselling sports cards, because it's very hard, it's very hard to do well. Not like a lot of other categories where like, you know, even if you buy a golf club that's not very good, it's probably worth 10 to 15 bucks. With sports cards, there's like such a strong chance that it's not even worth 10 bucks that uh, I just can't recommend it. Can't recommend sports card flipping. All right, so I'm just grabbing out of this a Funko... Oh, that cars thing is now in the way. A Funko Pop that sold. I'm just going to put that in here. And, you know, I want... Oh, so, wait, I'm burying the lead, guys. I mean, the lead is actually the enormous eBay sale. So I am burying that on purpose because, uh, you know, it's more fun if you hang out with me for a little bit. I guess this was sold. Sour Patch Kid Funko Pop. That's a cool one. Exclusive to 7-Eleven of all places. Uh, that sold on Posh for $13.50, so not great. So the lead is I was inspired to clean up a little yesterday and reorganize a little again. I moved my desk. I had my desk and my uh, two monitors like mounted to this wall. If you go watch the last video, you'll see it. It just always seemed to be a catch-all for trash. It was always a mess. The two monitors were always like falling over in the way the whole setup was just awkward and so i said i want to like minimize my workspace and so i moved it to just one desk and i put the desk right here so so far i think it's gonna be good but we'll see what happens long term the i i was editing a video there but yeah you can see it's just like one monitor i got my camera my mic hopefully this setup works better and then over here it's just uh this is all listed stuff plus just like personal collection stuff on the top 
And this is just like 20 junk drawers full of garbage that I need to figure out. It's pretty bad. And over here, you know, I just cleaned it up a little. But yeah, and I also cleaned off this shelf. There was a bunch of stuff over here that was like unlisted or just personal items. So I cleared a bunch of it off. There's still a little more work to do. But uh, yeah, big progress, big progress. Uh, okay, so Sour Patch Kid, Sports Cards, Buzz Lightyear. That's three of our four Posh sales. Our fourth one is a car item, which I actually just watched back this footage editing recently. Uh, right here. But I think the video is already out. Yeah, this is it. Hyundai Santa Fe cargo net for the back of your Santa Fe, brand new in the package. It's like one of those things, you know, they have the, that's an SUV and it's got this, you open the trunk and you can set up that cargo net and it kind of holds all your stuff. So it's not falling and sliding all over the place. I got that for $3, I believe. Could have been five, could have been three. The price might still be on it, you know me. Three or five. Anyways, sold that on Posh for 30. So look at that, cross listing on Posh guys. Bendu, use code ADHDave, is that a code? I don't know, my link's down below. You save 25% off your first month. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go to Mercari. Mercari? Mercari? How do you say that? I sold stuff over there too. The power of cross-listing. I have perfect feedback on Mercari. Kind of hard to get bad feedback on Mercari. All right, so we'll get those four shipped and then over, I'm gonna try to see my listings, active orders. Sold, 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 sold. One, two, three, four, five eBay sales, or Mercari sales, five Mercari sales. See, cross-listing, guys. It's an amazing and powerful thing, isn't it? So first off is an action figure that I can see from right here. So that's nice, little Dorbs thing, Ghost Rider Dorbs. I don't think I made a huge profit on this. I think I paid like four or five bucks for it. Sold it for 15 plus shipping over on Mercari. But at least it clears up space, you know, a lot of times. I didn't lose money on it, but not the greatest profit. But I do have an item. <laughs> Just keep, keep teasing. I do have an item that's amazing profit coming up from eBay. And actually, let's talk a little bit about your feedback on the comic books. I was asking you guys, hey guys, should I... Is this one of the new ones? Yeah, one of my new uh, golf clubs sold. Should I list the comics as is or get them graded? And it was pretty mixed feedback. I... I'm pretty sure if I were to go back and count though, more people told me to just go ahead and sell them as is than the amount that told me to go ahead and grade them. So that's good feedback. I will probably take it and run. This is my thought. I'm gonna just like go in there and I'm going to plan on listing everything. If I find one, that it just makes a ton of sense to grade, right? Like if I find one that's selling for a thousand dollars graded high and you know, $40 on graded or something and I see that it's a high grade, then that I might get graded. But all in all, I'm gonna go through and plan on listing the vast majority of them. All right, so anyways, I pulled the golf club, then I got distracted. I think we're talking about comic books. Uh, anyways, this was sold. It's a tailor-made A-wedge with a bad grip. This is in that big buy I did recently. $42.99, free shipping over on Mercari. It'll cost me about eight to ship, so about 30 bucks out the door. Not great, not terrible. Kind of somewhere in the middle. Molly's out here. Hi, Molly, how are you? Molly is my dog. Say hi, Molly. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Sit down, stay a while. There's been this whole weekend long project of like moving the kids' bedrooms. And so the house has just been like a constant state of like movement, hyperactivity, furniture moving, and it's been stressing Molly out. So she's been out here with me a little more often than normal because you know, it's a little calmer in here than the inside of the house right now. Uh, I saw this cute little bunny, little bunny bunny. It is a uh, Fenton, Fenton piece, hand painted. Uh, let's take a look here. I'm gonna look at the picture. Yeah, it's iridized Rosaline chubby bunny figure. Uh, this was listed for 50, got a best offer for 43 and went ahead and took it. Buyer did pay shipping and I was really torn. I was like, I'd probably counter with 45, 46, like squeeze a few dollars out of it, but I decided it doesn't matter. You know, it's, I'm already pure profit on those uh, Fenton items. So might as well just get them sold, uh, clear up the space and move on with my life. Now I sold some slippers that a lot of people would walk by. I think that this is one of those items that the vast majority of flippers would not buy or even think twice about buying or consider buying. Is that what I wanna say? Uh, oh, I put it in my shoes. I just don't think this is the kind of item you'd look for, but me, Dave, you know, some call them bad flippers. You can say what you want, I don't care. It's the kind of thing that caught my eye and that I, I had to have. Like I, it was, the estate sale was way overpriced and this was the item that I waited in. I waited and spent extra time there just so I could get a price on this. These are Puss in Boots slippers. Why did I do it? I don't know. <laughs> I guess mostly the thing that drove it was my nephew is obsessed with Puss in Boots and they were so cool that I was like, well, you know, worst case, I'll give them to my nephew who's coming in May. Best case, they're worth good money 
And my thought was that since the date was old, I think the date was like 2016, that's like an eight-year-old slipper in great condition. I was like, this probably are worth money because anyone who had them has destroyed them by now. And they're nice. They're like high quality little slippers. They're Happy Feet brand, Dreamwork, Dreamworks. Listed them for about 50, took an offer over on Mercari for 38.24. Actually, that's not true. It went on sale on my eBay. And then when Mikey cross listed, he just listed it at 38.24. I don't know if that was a mistake or not, but I'm happy with 38.24. I paid five for the set. So that's a very nice profit. And they sold fast. Like. Two days after he put them on Mercari, they sold. All right, so that was three of our Mercari sales. We have one more and I think it's in like a little bin. Jazzware, Sonic. This is another one of those Sonics that were in bad condition, but it's not It's not Sonic, it's Espio, E-S-P-I-O, who I don't know that character, but he sold decently quick for the poor condition he's in. It's Jazzware's brand, which is a good brand, I guess, on Sonic. Bolo, I guess. He's got some coloring on him. Some kid who owned him colored in red marker still sold them for 20 bucks plus shipping so that was nice that was a nice quick sale you know guys we're doing pretty good yeah pretty good sales. okay comics that's what i was talking about i just remembered so i need to talk about comics because we're gonna do like a comic raid train uh on dibbed it now i'm not gonna sell these like super artisanal comics that i want to look up but i do have a bunch of comics i haven't looked up that i know aren't probably amazing but there is some value in them they're just math comics you know that I feel like people could like, and I'll probably sell them in lots. We're going to do a dibbed it raid train. But my comics are like, you know, whatever. It'll be fun to hang out over there, and maybe I'll stream it a little on this channel. But mine, like, you know, I'll sell out in like 10 minutes. I don't have that much. I have less than a short box of comics. But there's some cool stuff in there, right? Like Marvel 1991 year interview. Uh, the one who's going to have the real good stuff is Kevin. Kevin bought, like, four grand worth of comics or something, and he's got... Or, no, four, four hundred. I can't remember what he spent. Four hundred dollars. Like four thousand comics is the moral of the story. Kevin bought like four thousand comics, and they're unsorted. He hasn't gone through them. They're all over the place. There's twelve centers. There's everything. So we're trying to wrap like a whole dibdit raid train around Kevin's buy. He's gonna go live a bunch throughout the day, and we're gonna come. Uh, maybe picking and punching will go live. I'm not sure. I haven't heard back from him yet. I'll go live. There's other sellers on dibdit that are gonna go live. We're gonna all auction off comic books. Most of us are going to do them in bundles. Some people will do individuals, but I'm probably going to do bundles like three to five comics for two bucks or something like that. And Kevin's planning on doing the same thing. So if you are a comic buyer, you might be able to get some really good deals. Dibbit.com Tuesday. Tuesday what time? Wait, Tuesday is tomorrow for you guys. Two days for me. Let me tell you what time it is. Hold on. I'm going to go live 6 p.m. Eastern, I believe. I believe. I'll, I'll try to stream it over here when I do it. But you don't want to miss Kevin. He starts off at 4 p.m. Eastern on Dibbed It. Link down below. Followed by Resell to Ride. They're in a great auction. Then me. Then Biggs Collectibles. Then maybe some people after that. I'm not sure. Anyways, it'll be fun. If you like comics at all, even moderately, or want to flip comics or get into flipping comics, you might be able to do pretty well over there. So check it out. I look forward to hanging out with you guys. Ow. Whew. I just had the most aggressive sneeze. That hurt. I scared Molly too. I think I got a hernia. Can you get a hernia from sneezing? Whew. Hey, hi, I sell stuff. <laughs> so, my show's all over the place. I sold a Micronta analog multimeter. Where in tarnation would I have stored this? I have no idea. Well, multimeter, I would probably put it with car stuff or electronics. So let's go look in car stuff first. This is one of those weird things. Like I know multimeters are a dime a dozen. They're not valuable in a big way. Like you can go buy one. Ooh, my computer's ringing. Hey now, it is my mother. Hello, mother. What are you doing? Your candy's good. Are you selling a lot of them? Oh, I haven't sold any candy. I'm just more making it for uh, nutritional reasons. Okay. Does it get rid of all the bad ingredients? Oh yeah, all the sugar is removed, I think. I think. Yeah. I found the item I sold. All right. Granny was confirming that she can come to yard sales on Saturday. So that's good. All right. This was sold. Multi-tester. They're not worth much. I'm going to show you why I bought it. And it's like dumb, but sometimes I'm sure this has happened to you. Let me know in the comments if it has. Like you see something that is just so well preserved that you can't resist buying it. This is so precarious. The way I set this up, it's probably shaking. It is shaking. Stop shaking. I'll put it over here instead. So yeah, it looks like just an old box, right? But look inside this thing. Oh. Oops. It's like perfect condition. Completely perfect condition. I just thought that was so cool. And I just edited the footage where I bought it and I told Carrie, I was like, these aren't worth much, but it's in such good condition. I had to buy it. Like it's 
50 years old and it looks brand new. Anyways, sold for $13, $13.50 I think on eBay. Uh, and I paid a buck or two. So it's not like I lost money. I could have paid five. I don't I'm so bad at that. Thirteen fifty is what it sold for. Whether it paid five dollars or less, I wouldn't have paid more than five. Uh, I'm gonna make a profit because thirteen bucks. It'll they paid shipping too, so I'll do okay. I'll do okay on it, and it sold pretty fast, probably because of condition. I bet Gary, who bought it, is gonna be very happy. <laughs> Remember my big train buy I did for eight hundred dollars last year? A lot of people said it was a bad buy, but it ended up not being a bad buy. It ended up more than tripling my money, maybe quadrupling my money. Uh, 7410. Well, I still have a couple trains left, and I did sell one. It was... They're moving slow now, I'll say that. 7410. It's right over here. I have the worst song stuck in my head. You ever get a song stuck in your head, but it's the song you hate? <sighs> That's what's happened to me right now. Not ideal. Tina put on a, uh... uh what's her name? uh cardi b song and that is stuck in my head and i don't really know any of the lyrics except for the inappropriate ones so it's really the worst kind of thing to have stuck in your head anyways rail king by mth electric trains this is a tough and rugged freight car it's literally a christmas train i don't know who's buying christmas trains right now this buyer reached out to me said hey your shipping's expensive can you ship it in a cheaper way i looked it was still like legacy set up as uh priority so i changed it over to ground advantage and it went from like 13 dollars to ship it to seven and then he went ahead and bought it. So seven sixteen to ship that. It sold for sixteen ninety two, plus the shipping. I've talked to you guys about this. It's not so much the like eating way too much right before I record that makes me like, just cripplingly, uh, out of breath and unenergetic when I record. It's cheese. It's literally cheese. And I decided when I got home today for lunch, I was gonna make queso dip. I make a mean queso dip and it takes like 10 seconds. Super fast, super good. Like white queso you get at a Mexican restaurant. But I'm lactose intolerant. So then I feel all bloated and horrible after I eat it. But while I eat it, I'm having a great time. So, you know, <laughs> weigh the pros and cons. I guess sometimes I choose the pain. It's because like when you're hungry, it's like a Seinfeld bit too. When you're hungry, you don't think about the price of the food what the food may do to you or make you feel. You just think about, oh, I'm hungry and this is gonna be good and fun. And you, you go ahead and you eat it. And then you're like, oh crap, I spent $400 on a meal. I've never done that. Well, actually that's not true. No, it's true. I've never spent $400 on myself. The most expensive meal I ever got was in Tokyo, Japan on my company's dime when I was traveling for my company a lot. It was some like teppanyaki place at the top of a fancy hotel, supposedly the best teppanyaki, like Wagyu steak. And it was just me. Just me, one person, it was $210. That was the most I ever spent on a meal, but it wasn't my money. It was my company's money, but not my company's, the company I worked for is money. They didn't love that. They didn't love that I spent that. Now I have spent more like when we were in sales and we were taking out this big client. And I know a lot of you guys put your number down below. I know a lot of people, uh, guys and gals who work for a company, maybe in sales, have probably spent way more than this, but I think the most expensive individual bill I had at that job was like $1,200 for six people. So that might've even been more, it might've been about 200 bucks a head. We did seal the deal and we got a $100,000 order out of that. So it kind of paid for itself. Kind of, yeah, $1,000 into 100, that's a good flip. Well, we also had the cost of, anyways, this is, I'm off the rails. Sold this, this is an Orlando Magic little mascot guy. Uh, sold him for $15.29 plus shipping. I paid a buck for him at the flea market a couple weeks ago. I just edited that footage too. Anyways, all that was to just say that I should not have had cheese before I recorded, but I did. Uh, I did sell a set of golf clubs. This is a Mizuno Cut Muscle set. I think that might be right over here. Golf clubs are still absolutely flying off my shelves. Sorry, Molly, just ignore me. I know I'm loud over here. One of the big benefits of my reorganization, my cleaning, was I can now, I used to have this shelf kind of out here in the path. Oops, my bubble wrap's falling like right here in the way, and I couldn't really get over to my golf clubs. I'm sure many of you saw me climbing and navigating to try to get to them several times. Well, now I don't need to do that. Now I can just walk over here and grab the club. Got these Mizuno's Cut Muscle MP60s. It's a set of irons, three, I think it's four total. So I think I grabbed them all that quick, which is nice. Let's see, let me just make sure it's only four. Molly doesn't like when I pull golf clubs too loud. MP60, cut muscle, seven, eight, nine, and a pitching wedge. Seven, eight, do I have a seven? Yeah. So that's what those look like. I mean, they're just standard Mizunos, guys. If you've seen one Mizuno, you've seen them all. They're an okay brand. That's, that's my opinion on Mizuno. They do okay. 
This set was nice because it has really nice clean grips on it. And the set itself is just solid condition. Set of four sold free shipping for $76.49. Shipping should, I should be able to get it all in one box. So shipping will probably be about 10 bucks going to New York. Yeah, maybe 12, we'll see. Molly, it's okay. Do you want to go back inside? She doesn't like that I'm making noise. I'm going to make more golf club noises because I sold another one. So I'm going to send her inside. Bye, Molly. Uh, MX-23 was the other one. It's going to be louder in there. She doesn't even know. It's just loud in the house today. I had a few MX-23s. These were got at the flea market as well. Purchased at the flea market. I paid 40 bucks for a big set of them. That included those Mizunos I just sold, which was five of them. And then I listed three individually because they were the MX-23s, not the MX-60. It's kind of boring, guys. This isn't Socked gal Golf's YouTube channel, so we won't go into the minutia and details of it. This individual club sold for $25.49 free shipping. And I paid 40 for the whole set. So 76, so we're at 100 right now from that buy. And I have two more listed, which would probably be about another $50 or so. So 40 into 150. Hi, Anna, how you doing? Thank you. Give you this box That's kit. amazing. <laughs> Just literally piling trash out here. Here, Dad, here's all these boxes. Eh, that's okay, I can break them down and I can use them. They are right. Now, while I was cleaning up out here, I did find a lot of unlisted stuff. That does tend to happen. I'm sure you guys would have the same thing as you clean and move stuff. You're like, oh, that's not listed, that's not listed. So that happened a bunch. Uh, and so I ended up kind of filling my shelves a little bit. So I actually have stuff I can go through and list now, which is good. Plus, I want to list those comics. I have a listing I can do when I get around to it, hopefully soon. All right, we still have a huge sale coming, guys. Huge. B best eBay sale ever. Uh, well, I still don't know if that's true. But best profit on an individual item ever, I would say. I think that's true. And they are Nom Noms from Bin 13. No, just kidding. <laughs> I did sell Nom Noms, but they're not the best find. We're gonna get to the best find in a minute. I will show you the Nom Noms. You know, these bags of toys. I watched this footage. These are little like Nom Noms, little food things, like a little kid's toy. And there's so often that I buy these. There's also so many times I don't. Like there's a lot of times where I don't end up buying bags like this. Cause I'm like, eh, will I ever list it? Will I just put it on whatnot? Because I know, I can tell you, this is one of those items I had to really think about. I knew it had the value on eBay. I paid, I think, three bucks for the bag. And I was like, if I put this on, on whatnot, I am going to get five to eight dollars. If I'm lucky, ten on that. That's if I'm lucky. Because it's just not a popular toy people on my whatnot are looking for. So I decided instead of whatnot, I'd play the long game. I put that on eBay. It's been on there for three months, I think three months and I sold it for $25.49 instead of the 10 I would have gotten for it. Again, we've talked about it. We've discussed whether or not that's really the right move. I still don't know if it's the right move, but I know it worked for me this time. And you know, what not could have gone even worse. I could have sold them for four bucks. So $25 in the bank plus shipping. I'll go with it and I'll say it was the right choice because it's the choice I made. <laughs> is, that, uh, is that favoritism towards my own choices? Maybe a little bit. Okay, so the next item I just listed, I believe, Friday, and it sold already, which means I listed a little low. But I did that with knowledge, with, uh, I was watching The Postman, by the way. I did a whole Instagram story about that. I'd never seen The Postman with Kevin Costner. What a train wreck that movie is. Like, it has terrible reviews, and I was like, is it really that bad? Because Waterworld has terrible reviews, but Waterworld's great. But then again, maybe objectively Waterworld is bad, and I just have nostalgia. That's a deep thought. Either way, the postman is so dumb. I mean, the whole concept of like he's in the post apocalyptic world and we need to have a three hour story about how he brings postal work back. <laughs> uh, it'd be good for us eBayers, you know? It's like this is the whole premise of this movie and the acting is so subpar. That's not what we're talking about. We're back talking about this figure. I listed it for $17.99. The comps were good, 25 to 30. It's like an old Mego 1973 Hong Kong. Comps go anywhere from like 20 to 35 and there's a ton of act and only like one or two solds and maybe one sold. The one sold was like 25 or 30. I think what a lot of people do is they get this, they see that one sold for 25 or 30 and they all list it at 30 bucks saying, oh, I'm gonna be the one who gets 30 next, but there's like 30 listed. And I just like, I was like, I just wanna sell it. I just want it to be gone. So I went ahead and listed it for 17.99 plus shipping and it sold in less than a day. So I might have gone too aggressive, but I just was like, with the amount of competition, the amount of solds, I just didn't know how long it was going to take. Now, I will tell you, someone has a sold on this brand new in the package on the card in nice condition for like over 150 bucks. But that's a different kind of beast when you get something like that brand new sealed from the 70s. It's a 50-year-old toy. So obviously, you're going to get more. I'm still recuperating from this queso. Uh, in queso emergency. <laughs> 
Eh, that's a shirt I've seen in queso. It's just not worth it. It's not worth the cheat. I gotta get some lactate. Anyways, we're almost at the best sale ever on the Dave. I know a lot of you are gonna be like, Dave, I have sales better than that all day. <laughs> but that's because you're better than me. So I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we did sell a book. Uh, it was a manual. I think I talked about it a little bit on here. It was like everything at this sale was vastly overpriced, except this book, which was just sitting in a bin, ignored. Volkswagen Jetta repair manual. It's a newer one, 2005 to 2010. Hardbound, hardcover, hardbound. Diesel, gasoline. It just seemed like it would be good, so I comped it out and found out it was good. Sold that for $88.99 over on eBay plus shipping. It's almost $100 out of a book. There are good books out there. Um, they're just generally not Danielle Steele. All right, my next item is a vintage Hallmark shelf sitter. I basically got this for free. Uh, I went to a sale, lady, it was an estate sale up with, during the Peaches to Beaches. Uh, I had this and a whole bunch of other tote full of stuff. And she's like, oh, that stuff has no value. Just take it. And so she just gave it to me. But I was like, yeah, let me at least pay for the tote. So I kind of forced her to take five bucks because I felt bad. Um, but yeah, that's sold. It's very cute. It's a little Hallmark shelf sitter. Wish, sister, today you're the star. So let's celebrate you. Kick up your heels and smile. Can I get a woohoo? So I don't know. It's kind of a cute little gift idea. Brand new, $15.99 plus six in shipping. Oh, man. We have a lot of sales today. Look at that. Uh, so two people, I expect there were viewers because I talked about this item on my last video. I didn't see any notes from them, but both of these. Oh, and you know what? I, I heard Kevin say something pretty smart that I thought was a cool idea that I should probably copy. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, I talked about these in the last video and then both of them sold the last two I had. So my thought is people, you know, because it went on sale on eBay and I never turned it off. Although I probably should have. I have one left. I have one left. But it's this, uh, there we go. Hey, hey, here I am. Pokemon Evolution Multipack. Uh, two of them sold. It could be just because it's on sale. It might not be viewers, but I put them on sale for $12.75 and sold two of them. Again, I paid about five a piece. Maybe, uh, maybe $4.75, but about five a piece on these. Uh, and I'm selling for like $12.75, so not a great deal after I pay for the box and the bubble wrap and all that other stuff. But I did sell some off at like $17 and $18 when I first got them, when they were worth a little more. They've just gone down in value a little bit since I got them. But either way, I'm happy to recoup the money. I'm already in the profit on them. So that's just basically pure profit there. I was, I was watching one of Kevin's videos the other day, and apparently he has a coupon code for his eBay store. And if you like use his coupon code when you buy something from him, you get a better deal than everyone else on eBay. I like that idea. I think that's cool. It's like a way to give back to any viewer who wants to buy something. So I'm going to do it too. My store is called like NC Picker. I keep a link to my store down below. It's still called NC Picker. I never changed it. <laughs> but I'm going to do a coupon code of like, I don't know, what do you think? Like 7% off? That's a lucky number. 7% off for viewers who use the coupon ADHDave. But I'm not going to advertise it anywhere. I'm going to try to figure out how to do that. I want it to only be available to people who watched this moment and know about it. Or maybe I'll mention it again in another video. Code ADH Dave, all lowercase, 7% off my store. Let's see. Let's see if you guys like that. Uh, this sold, this is a lighthouse. Maybe that's why Kevin gets all the all the viewer sales. Sandy Point, uh, 1995 lighthouse sold, sold for $25.49 free shipping. I gotta remember to do that now. Actually create that coupon code. <laughs> I do have to remember that. That will be bad if I forget. Uh, let me move my comics here. I sold another one of these big like program pamphlet thingies that I had gotten at the flea market. Uh, is it this one? No, I think it's the other one. These are like horror, like 70s horror stuff. Uh, it's uh, They're coming to get you and it's like creepy dudes chasing this girl. And that sold for $30 to Zach. Zach is a viewer because he messaged and said, hey Dave, I would give you 30. The fact that he knew my name since my account just says NC Picker means he's a viewer. So that's a good way for me to know you're a viewer. And he asked if I'd take 30, and I said, yeah, it's a viewer. I'll give it to him for 30. I think it was listed for like 45 or 50 or something like that. But uh, I'm happy to see it go. I don't want to damage it, and I'm a little nervous with it sitting over there on that shelf that eventually it'll get really dinged up or something or horrible condition. It's a cool item, and I'd like for it to go to a collector. All right, guys, we're almost there. We're almost at. <laughs> How many of you already have guessed what it is? I bet a bunch of you have. Uh, let's see. And no, it's not a not an artisanal polar bear. <laughs> Uh, where did I put these? These are these are a cool item. This is my plushie of the day. Yeah? Is this my plushie of the day? This might be my best plush sale of the day. I think it is. It is Popeye and olive oil, which I got at the flea market. Uh, let's see. It looks like it has a price tag. I know I talked them down, 
but I'm curious what the price tag says. It says Popeye and Olive Driver cover covers $30. I think I paid $20 for the set, I think. But if you watched the video, maybe you remember more clearly. I know I talked them down. It's got Olive Oil and Popeye Golf Club head cover sets. Very cool, very cool. Really nice quality too. That's an old one, sold for $60 plus shipping. I might have paid as low as 15, but I'm pretty sure 20 feels like what I paid for it. So definitely be the coolest guy on the golf course with those. Well, yeah, if I'm your friend. Some people might be like, that's lame, but oi, good day, mate. No, he doesn't speak in Australian. <laughs> what is his accent? All right, eat all my spinach and what is his accent? I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys, enough burying the lead. Let's pull the order of the day. Now I will tell you, this item sold for like 800 less than I was hoping to get for it. But beggars can't be choosers. I'm fine with what I got for it. You know, it's it was a best offer scenario and I was like, man, I'd really like that money. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it. And the thing that's old is Fantastic Four, The Coming of Galactus, Grade 7, CGC 7. I'll show it to you here. Now, when I first got this, I thought I might get three grand or something like that, but I got a little less, but I am totally happy with this. Uh, it's a fantastic sale. I sold that for 2,200. I lied. I, I, I sell for 2,200, 2,400. Oh, I sold for 2,400, $47. I think 2,200 is what I get after fees. I think that's why I was confused. $2,447, so basically 2,450 for a comic book that was buried in the basement of someone, <laughs> totally forgotten, getting wet. You know, this collection, you guys saw the video. Right, go check it out if you haven't, it's on my picker channel. This was like the most random thing that happened at the reseller rally where I just got an invite to go pick these comic books. I decided to just buy 12 cent stuff and the saga has unfolded over the last couple months where I got some graded and at this point I've already sold several for 800 and 1,000 and 1,500 dollars. And now we sell the last one I got graded for $2,447. My buy cost was like $100 for everything I bought at that sale. And I made the money back just in action figures that I bought and VHS and video games. The comics were all pure profit from the moment it, we hit go. And uh, I'm so deep into the profit. It is definitely my best, best find ever was that comic book. And I still, still am up at night sometimes thinking, dang it, I left so much behind at that sale. There's so much stuff that I didn't get that I should have got. Sometimes ask me for an update on that, that collection. Uh, that collection was, you know, <clears throat> incredible, incredible. I think it could have been maybe a quarter million dollar collection, maybe more. Uh, I do know that that got, I do know that that collection got sold for a steal, a steal of a deal. I think it was sold for around $10,000. And I think it was, oh my goodness. I mean, think about it, just this one book, $2,500. You could probably have found, I know Shad Juice was there, the YouTuber, he got the same book as me. Damaged cover, like his was more like a, maybe a half, a one or a two. But still, if there was two, there was probably three, maybe four, maybe five, maybe enough of that specific book to pay for that $10,000 collection. So I know that collection was just such a steal to whoever bought it. I wish I had get, gotten the opportunity to get it, but I'm still really happy with the opportunity I did have and the profit I made on that collection. Like I said, my best flip ever. So obviously my total is gonna be fantastic. <laughs> my grand total in sales this weekend was $3,131.74. Very happy with that. Great sales day. Uh, it's always nice when that sort of thing happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you did. Hit the like button, comment down below what you think, and we'll see you next time.